Up to late Thursday, reports are that the sprinter was considering traveling to Doha in the Middle East to compete in the heats of the 100 meters as early as Saturday morning. Instead, John L. Smith, who finished a spot behind Williams in fourth at the national trials in June, will join Shelley and Fraser Price and Elaine Thompson as Jamaica's entrance for the race. Ultimately, it was the right decision, basically because the process is not yet complete. You must remember that the, the JAD Cup, the IWF, along with WADA, can appeal what the independent panel, the sanction the independent panel handed down. So basically, let us say, for example, she goes there and competes. And during competition, which is now ongoing, the, the, the appeal would come down from IWF, WADA, etc. It would then compromise her presence in terms of the process not being complete and her potentially or possibly getting a sanction and, and then whatever contribution she would have made at the championship would have been compromised in terms of if, if it's a relay would probably lose the medal so i think ultimately she's 17 years old she's been through a lot of traumatic experience i think she should just rest up and go back into training and try and make it bigger and better for the 2020 season which happens to include the olympic games in japan Williams posted on her social media accounts Thursday night to officially confirm her withdrawal from the event. She said, quote, I have decided to forego competing at the World Championships, considering the long trip to Doha and that the team has already started training for the relays. She further said, I am just relieved and thankful after what has been a very emotional summer. I would like to once again express my gratitude to everyone right across Jamaica who reached out to show support. I look forward to returning to the track season for the 2020 season, end quote. Williams further added, quote, Hopefully, I still have a chance to make the trip to Doha to watch Jamaica compete. I would like to wish all our athletes and coaches the very best, end quote. O'Shane Masters, Frontline News.